Hello everyone, my name is Hilde and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is steampunk day, so rather than show you my entire collection, because we'll be here till tomorrow, I decided to show you my top 10 favorite things, starting with art, which I have to insert photos of because it's on the wall and I don't want to ask Bert to take it down, but you know, pictures is as good as anything else, right? The two drawings, the actual steampunk drawings, are actually placemats. They're paper placemats from the Disneyland Hotel's uh, Hotel Invention, uh, sorry, Restaurant Inventions. I believe it's called Inventions. I've never actually eaten there, but uh, my friends Dan and John years and years and years ago got me these placemats because they figured like, oh cool, it's a steampunk thing, we'll give it to Hilda and much appreciated and I kept them safe. So when we moved into our house, um, we put them on the wall in a, in a frame, obviously. And the other two treasure plant ones, um, the actual movie poster I got at the Odeon in Camden Town just before the movie came out. So I've also had that since forever. And the uh, Legacy, the ship, that is an actual signed steampunk print that was gifted to me by John. Thank you, John. And I, I love these. Treasure Planet is my favorite animated Disney movie, so super happy to have these in my house. And yeah, that's <laughs> art. <laughs> and then something else, which is super cliche steampunk, goggles. These are my favorite goggles. These are customized, I wouldn't say vintage, I'm not sure how old they are, but they are, they are actual welding goggles. Originally, they were a pastel yellow, I kid you not. And they had a plastic nose piece, which obviously I replaced because it broke. I'm sure I've replaced the elastic as well at some point, but I repainted these with just liquid acrylics, the ones that you see for like miniature gaming. And uh, it's probably a mix of the Games Workshop House brand one or Citadel. I'm not sure what name they go by these days. And Vallejo, probably mostly Vallejo because that is my favorite brand of paint. And next up is a fan holster. Yeah, you heard that right. A holster for a folding fan. This is the fan I have inside. It's a Mucha one, which I bought in Prague several years ago uh, in the gift shop of the Prague Castle Complex. Well, one of the gift shops, because I think there's several. And then it's just leather with a clip, so you can attach it to a belt or your bag, whatever you prefer. I really like this in summer. It's super practical and I have yet to lose a fan, so cool beans, right? And this is by Poor Man's Gold Label. They're a steampunk brand from Japan. This is also by Poor Man's Gold Label. It's an armor ring and it's exactly what the name implies. <laughs> Just self-explanatory. You have full mobility with this guy, so it's super comfortable. I think they are made to measure. Mine was made to measure in any case, but I have... Um, basically child hands, so <laughs> made to measure is kind of necessary in my case when it comes to rings, well often, because I have a hard time finding rings otherwise. Then I have a brooch, and this is uh, by Omarisha, and it has typewriter keys that spell out ARG, and I, I thought that was funny, so I got this one. I think the other ones just had random keys, but this one, <laughs> you know, the arc thing that won me over. And I love typewriters. So typewriter brooch it is, and it's quite big. So that is good because my hair tends to hide all the brooches. So, and all the pins, that's kind of problematic sometimes. And speaking of typewriters, that brings me to my next item, which is a vintage typewriter. I think it's from the late 1800s. I, my dad used to say 1880. I have no reason to doubt him. Um, but I'm not 100% sure whether it's true or not. 
But yeah, this is a, a vintage Remington typewriter. It weighs an actual ton. So again, I'm going to insert a picture here. It is actually in perfect working condition, aside from the fact that we cannot find the typewriter ribbon for it. So we can't use it because we don't have any filling, so to speak. Um, but otherwise, it's it's really awesome. Uh, I've I've never known it not to be in our house because my dad got it in like 1960 something, I think. He had it like for long before I was born. And he learned to type on it, I learned to type on it. I absolutely love that thing. And if it ha if we actually could find ribbon for it, I would still be typing on it, rest assured. Maybe one day, hopefully. I mean, they're bringing back all sorts of things like record players and whatnot. So hopefully they'll bring back typewriters as well and the uh, ribbon for typewriters. And if they do, I hope they bring, um, bring out these portable typewriters that you used to see because I would love one of those. That would be amazing. Then, I actually have two fandom items and this is the first one. I'm trying to hold it up properly, but it's not cooperating. It is the Alex and Ani Aloha Mora key, flying key necklace. Yeah, sorry, it's incredibly fiddly. It's also incredibly fiddly when you wear it, trust me. But I love it regardless, yeah, see, it will not focus. Let me try again. Yeah, that works. But yeah, it's just a really small brass key with silver wings and the front, it has, you can see it shimmer just a little bit. But yeah, in the front it has um, little, rhinestones I think they are in um, one in each wing and then one in the top here come on focus yeah there we go one in the top here and one in the body and it says Aloha Mora and on the back it says Alex and Ali this looks incredibly fragile but thankfully it is not I've worn this loads and I like it because obviously it's a key and I like keys but um I like it because it's small and dainty and whilst I love my statement jewelry, sometimes I just want something small, you know? So uh, yeah, that guy. Then I have the Think Geek Tesla watch, named after Nikola Tesla, the inventor, not Elon Musk's Tesla company, just so you know. <laughs> Let's be clear on that one. And it's actually a wristwatch, long strap wraps around actually really comfortable because this is a pretty heavy watch but it's surprisingly super comfortable to wear and i don't know if you can see it properly is it lighting no ah there we go but it lights up it only lights up, lights up for like 30 seconds or so but it's still really fun it's not currently working because i need to replace the battery because, of course, all the batteries died just before filming as, you know, Murphy's Law, I suppose. But yeah, um, I really love this. And I'm sad that Think Geek actually went bankrupt because they had such cool stuff. And I found this guy at uh, Mechanic Strip in Antwerp. So in my own country, like this year, a couple of months ago. And I was so happy I, I bought it, obviously. That's like, if that guy is like gone, it's gone. It's never gonna come back unless Team Geek resurrects, which I hope it does. <laughs> but yeah, next thing is also a timepiece and it is my Aslan pocket watch from Narnia. So this is a Disney piece. It's limited edition, flips open and it just shows Aslan in a burgundy uh, and gold and black. And it's pretty badly scratched up because the fossil store in Antwerp was not to be trusted with somebody's watch. Which is extra sad considering this is a limited edition, but you know, nothing I can do about it now other than complain vehemently 
on general principle but yeah as you can see it has aslan engraved in front and I really like it and <laughs> it has been mistaken for a Gryffindor pocket watch a couple of times but no it's not I'm actually not a fan of um, the Narnia movies I mean I've seen them but I'm not hype about them but I am hype about pocket watches and I just really really love this pocket watch also my star sign is Leo so I figured like I love it it works I'm gonna go with that one and that brings me to my last item, which I also have to insert the clip of because there is no way I could figure that out. I could fit that guy in the screen. Words, am I right? And that is my penny farting. Yup, I own a penny farting. I don't really ride it very often. It's been quite a while because I used to take it to events with me and First of all, you'd be surprised how many people think it's a very good idea to try to cross the road in front of somebody's bike. But I digress. Uh, I used to take it to events like fantasy fairs, but sadly those have not been going on. And, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I used to ride it up and down the street where we used to live, but I haven't done it here yet. Uh, I probably will though, because my husband just finished doing maintenance on it, so... I need an excuse to ride it, even if it's just to the bakery or the mailbox. <laughs> but yeah, inserting a clip right here. And that was it. Um, I know this isn't a full collection video, but like I said, we'd be here till tomorrow because I have a lot of steampunk stuff, especially since I've been been collecting it since like 2008 so yeah <laughs> there is that and um i know i'm not looking very steampunk right now but um it is quite warm and i find comfort very important but yeah anyway before i keep on waffling till the end of time if you like this video please give it a well like <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment. If you do leave a comment, please be kind and I will see you in the next one. Bye!